I'd always wanted to serve a mission. Ever since I was a little kid, I knew that it was something that I wanted to do. And I'm grateful that I, that I had the opportunity to serve a mission. Um, I know it's not something, I know it's something that maybe not a hundred percent of people get to do, but it was the best decision I ever made. Um, I certainly wish that I would have prepared for a little bit better. I wish that I would have maybe read Preach My Gospel more. Uh, Preach My Gospel is like the book for doing missionary work. Besides, of course, like the Book of Mormon and like the Doctrine and Covenants in the Bible and stuff. I just wish I was a little bit more acquainted with it. It would have been nice. You definitely get acquainted with it in the mission, but um, I think that it would have been maybe even a bigger help if I had studied a little bit more. Uh, as far as getting my mission call, it took a little bit, but uh, I know that when I got it, it said uh, New Jersey. Uh, I know this doesn't happen to everyone, but when I read it, I just knew. I instantly knew that was the place that Heavenly Father wanted me to go. And then it said Portuguese speaking. I wasn't even sure that that was a thing. I didn't even know that you could speak other, a language other than English here in the United States. And I didn't know anything about New Jersey. So it was just kind of interesting. In my patriarchal blessing, it said that I would serve a mission uh, in my language and in another language. Now, uh, having been born and raised in Guatemala, but having spent a lot of time here in the United States, I kind of consider English and Spanish to kind of both be my language in a sense. So I was actually able to serve Spanish speaking and English speaking as well, but I also served in Portuguese, thereby 100% fulfilling what it said in my patriarchal blessing. Uh, and that's something very personal, but something that, you know, I think is important because it shows that Heavenly Father has a plan. Heavenly Father knows and wants people to, to do what he wants them to do, not because, you know, uh, he's just all controlling and everything, but just because he knows uh, what will be best for us. He knows the kind of experiences that we need to have. And he can tell us ahead of time, even, in a patriarchal blessing or in any other blessing or just inspiration. He's so aware of us. And so that was a cool experience, knowing that uh, Heavenly Father knew that that would happen in my mission. And, of course, knowing that the apostles uh, and the prophets are really inspired of God because I'm sure they didn't know about my patriarchal blessing, but God did. So that was really cool. As far as my MTC experience goes, it was one of my favorite parts of the whole mission. I absolutely loved it. The MTC district that I went out with, and hopefully you guys are watching, uh, was a, a very big blessing in my life. Some of those guys I still stay in touch with, and the other ones that I don't, I wish I did. Um, we loved each other, and we... Uh, we grew together. We were all kind of at the same level and we just kind of built each other up. There's some snafus here and there, but uh, we developed, I think, a friendship that I think was really meaningful to us and helped us uh, on our path to you know, be, becoming more devoted disciples of Jesus Christ. The trials that we went through together, it was really cool. And uh, I would invite anyone to you know, make the most out of their MTC experience because it's really cool. It's really amazing to be in that uh, place. Uh, one of my branch presidency members said that, you know, the house is the temple of the Lord, but the MTC is the, uh, no, I'm sorry, the temple is the house of the Lord, but the MTC is the house of the Spirit. I thought that was an interesting way to put it because the Spirit was very, very strong in the MTC, and the spiritual impressions that you get there, I think, are important for when you're out, out in the mission field, so it was just something that I was really grateful for. I'm really thankful for my, uh, my MTC experience.